How's it going everyone? It's Oliver here. Uh, it's Tuesday. Tuesdays with Oliver. This is going to be my new day of the week for me. Um, Kyle and I actually switched days so he'll be taking over Mondays um, just because it works better with our schedules. So welcome. This week's topic we're discussing being trans in high school slash college. Um, I wasn't personally out in high school. I wasn't out as trans in high school. Um, I was out as queer, but only in regards to my sexuality, not necessarily my gender. Um, so I don't have a lot of insight for that, just because it wasn't something I dealt with. Um, it wasn't something I dealt with consciously. Maybe subconsciously there was a lot of turmoil, but it wasn't something that I actively thought about. It wasn't until my freshman year of college that I came across these different terms like genderqueer, non-binary, um, all of these trans terms that I felt I could identify with. So I started identifying as non-binary towards the end of my freshman year and then my sophomore year I kind of was playing more with binary trans identities and was identifying as a trans man. Ugh, this lighting sucks. Okay, I'm really sorry. Um, yeah, it wasn't until this year that I was feeling more stable in my identity and am now um, identifying as a non-binary trans person. Um, being trans in college is not difficult at all for me, especially because I live in Washington, which is a pretty liberal, open-minded state, and I go to probably the most open-minded um, college in the state, if not the nation. Um, and I want to say a good majority of the population of my college is queer in some sense of the word. Um, so it's not surprising if there's a few trans kids in my classes. Uh, so it hasn't been difficult to, you know, try out different pronouns, different names. It's all been very easy and fluid and just not a big deal for anyone. Um, but I know that I'm lucky in this sense because a lot of colleges are not so tolerant uh, and it's harder to be trans in other colleges. The main thing is being open with your professors. Um, this can, this doesn't have, you don't have to do this face to face, but just shoot them an email and tell them, you know, what pronouns you like to use and what name you use. And usually if they will change it on the roster so that when they call your name during attendance, if they even take attendance, I don't know, a lot of colleges don't take attendance, but mine does. Um, and they'll say your preferred name instead of your, um, birth name. And then I think that notion just kind of puts everybody else in the room to knowing that you are this person and that you go by this name and if your professor is using the correct pronouns and is really good at, about it then your classmates will most likely follow suit um, unless they're just assholes. Another thing is dorm life can be probably a little weird. Um, like I said, I went into college identifying as female, I guess, um, so I was put in a room with another female, um, female presenting person at the time, female identifying person at the time, I guess, and so that was fine, but if you're going into college not identifying that way, or if you're identifying as a trans male but you don't want to be in a room 
you don't want to be roommates with a cis male person for whatever reason. I think a lot of, see, I don't know, I haven't done my research, but I'm assuming most colleges have some kind of housing that's co-ed, um, or you could get your own room, a single room, or queer housing. They have queer housing at my college. Um, so just look into your options. Don't be too worried about that. Also clubs. Clubs are good. Uh, some kind of T-Rex, trans resource, queer club um, is always good to get involved in. Finding some sort of common peer group I think really helps in college. Uh, especially if you're at one, if you're at a college that's not like mine, where everybody is pretty friendly and open in regards to gender expression and gender identity, uh, you want to find people that are, um, and just surround yourself with those people. Um, I wish I could talk more on high school, but I don't have a lot of experience with that. I would just say be careful, because high school kids can be ruthless, and you don't want to put yourself in any kind of danger. So just be cautious of who you open up to. I'm not saying that you should, like, don't trust anyone, but just know who you're talking to and know who your real friends are. And I guess that's about it. I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, if you have any more tips for being trans in college and for being trans in high school because I don't have any tips. Um, com comment, comment below um, so other folks can read and gain a little bit more insight. Um, personal updates. Um, I missed my last tea shot because my prescription has still hasn't come, and I didn't make an appointment with my doctor to get one, so I'm late on that, and it's kind of bugging me, and it's kind of messing with me emotionally, um, but also because other stuff is going on in my life that has really just, like, put me in a really dark place, so I'm just kind of, like, trying to, trying to stay positive, but it's really hard. Um, what else? Oh, I got a new tattoo. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, Tom had designed it, and I think it's pretty sick. Um, and I guess that's about it. I'll see you guys next Tuesday, for sure. And, yeah, be good to yourselves and have a good week, have a good life.